College is the biggest lie in life's history. College has been pushed on us for multiple generations and all throughout my school life, and I am still figuring out how to make it in the business world and make a lot more money than my peers. To this day, I still get asked, oh, are you going to college? Why didn't you go to college? Or, wow, you're smart. Why aren't you in college? Well, that's the exact reason why I'm not. I'm smart enough to know that I can make money without actually having to go to college because in a business that I can surround myself with higher level entrepreneurs that I can learn from and attack it. I don't need a degree to do that. I can learn from other people. I have a real estate entrepreneurship degree from the programs that I'm going in. So for the schools to keep pushing and pushing on children to go to college and thinking they have to go to college to be successful is a complete joke to me. And now college is useful, but only for a certain set of people. And just to give my thoughts on this, yes, it is useful for people going into like medical fields to be an engineer or anything in the trades as well. You can go to trade school and learn that way. But me personally, I think the best options that you can take on are not going to college. And anything that gives you a college degree still isn't going to pay you enough. It's going to be a nine to five. And you might like what you're doing as a nine to five. And that's perfect for you. Go and do that thing. If that's your passion, if that's what makes you happy and fulfilled, also know how much you're going to make from that. Is it just going to be a hobby that you're going to make 40k a year from and you're going to have multiple six figures of debt to pay for and you're never going to actually live a good life? Well, then is it actually worth going to college for or is it something that you can stay in school for and it's something that you're super passionate about that you know you can make good money and live a valuable life? Now, I want you to go to college if it's those things and if you know exactly what you're going to do and you already know that that's what you're happy doing. But this is for other people who actually don't know what they're doing. They have been pushed into this college scenario where they think they have to go to college and they can only be successful if they do. Well, I'm going to prove that wrong. Especially if you're going into business school, you need to listen up to this video because you can make $50,000 easily per year if you immediately jump into the working field. And this can be in anything. If you provide a valuable service, a valuable job, and you show up and do the work, you can easily make 50K a year and hustle it out for four years and make $200,000 within that four years. Instead of spending $200,000 towards college, you can save all of that income, not spend it on stupid crap. And I tell you what, if you reinvest it into your education the right way while you're working, you are going to be able to make more money and even millions of dollars before your peers do if they are going to college for no absolute reason. In this day and age, there's just no point in pushing people to go to college because there's so many different jobs out there and there's so many jobs that don't require a degree. If you show up and work and if you provide the value, if you teach yourself how to do things and then you show up and perform for your, whether it's your boss or whether it's in your own business, whether you're serving your clients, if you work on your skills, you work on your knowledge, that's the only thing employers will actually care about. And I've seen the biggest shift coming right now where employers are actually hiring based on your skill sets, based on your work ethics and ability to do things. My thing with spending $50,000 on schooling is ridiculous. Let's actually break this down on what you're doing in college first off. Like you probably have a bunch of these classes that actually don't pertain to anything you're trying to do or they don't pertain to actually you learning in the field because I think the best thing for you to do is go out and work in the field and you will learn as you go and you'll learn so much more and you can master that skill within four years and you could also learn on the side right they can be a mix of both but it doesn't have to be going to college doing these bunch of classes messing around partying and hanging out with these people that you call friends honestly I don't think they would actually be your lifelong friends and doing that over and over and creating this bad environment while you're in school and I'm not saying it can be good because it definitely can be you can go to school for different sports and you can go for certain things that actually love level you up but for the majority of people it just doesn't make sense and does, this doesn't apply to you and I'm 18 years old and I'm obviously not going to college but if you think I'm wrong it's like well you know how are you supposed to know you didn't go how are you supposed to know this if you're not old enough yet well I can tell you I've met countless countless 25 30 and even 40 year olds that literally talk to me and say I wish I never went to college you're so smart because you're not going to college and you're taking this route I wish I did at 18 years old it didn't make sense for me to go to college right they tell me these things because it was a pain in their life that they took many many years to realize before they switched up and actually went after what they wanted to do and made the money and lived the life that they were happy with and this might be one big reason why schooling systems really push you see our schooling systems can be controlled by our community 
communities and government, right? It's all funded by government based in our taxes. Now, I was listening to the radio and the government officials were saying that they want to push people to go into school and incentivize and take care of these loans. And that's why they're paying off your student loans is so that they can push you through a system that is going to waste your life and make you work harder than you need to on stuff that doesn't matter, right? And it's going to still probably put you in debt either way, right? There's a lot of people that are still going to be in debt and accumulating all of this. But the reason they can incentivize and pay off your debt is because it's an investment for them. They can go and pay off your debts, but what's going to happen when you go in the working field? They think that once you get in the working field, you're going to get a higher paying job and a higher paying job means they can take more of your money, right? Have you ever learned about the tax system and how it's progressively as your income goes up, the more taxes are taken out. Like someone that makes a million dollars a year might only take home five to six hundred thousand dollars, which makes absolutely no sense, right? That's literally five hundred thousand dollars their income wiped away. And that's exactly why this government wants you to go to college, because they think if you are paid more, they can take more taxes out of you and that will make the government more money, right? It's a good investment. Now, here's why I don't think that will work. For one, the people that make the most amount of money aren't going to college. In fact, they're not going to college to do the jobs that college pushes you to do. They're going to go make money in entrepreneurial fields. In short, there are tax write-offs and there's different ways to get rid of that tax liability, which a lot of smart entrepreneurs and real estate investors do just like me. But if you go to college, the majority of these people are making less than 100,000 a year. And sure, you might get a job, you grow and you add over time, you make over $100,000 a year. But I think most of these people that are going to college don't make over 100,000. So I think that it's completely baffling that they push people into college into a system where they think they're going to get a good return on investment. Maybe they will. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't totally looked into the numbers and they actually take more of my money if I make a million dollars a year and don't have any write offs, which is completely easy for them to do. So they are completely wrong in thinking that if they incentivize people to go to college, that they're going to make more. But they're treating people like they think that everybody that goes to college is going to be perfectly happy with the job that they get instead of just going out in the working field, working in a trade, working in their own business, creating. There's so many different things you can do in this current economy. It's like you got AI that's coming out now. You have content, which is a huge, big part of its own. Like you can go and be a video editor if you train yourself and you can make easily six figures a year. So I think things are could shift to more a lot of people just doing their own service based businesses besides the bigger companies that need to put people in place. And that can only be a certain majority of people that like to do things on their own. Some people like having a boss and going to a nine to five. And those are the people that are still going to do that, which is perfectly fine if that's what makes them happy. But for college to think that everybody that's going to college is going to be perfectly happy with their job and their choices is completely wrong. And they push you through schooling all of your life to get you to the college level. So those are my overall thoughts of the current system. Now, here's what I think is totally messed up anyways, besides everybody pushing to college or everybody thinking you have to go to college and being successful. The way college is set up is absolutely insane. Everything today should be totally learned in high school and below. I can tell you, I mean, converting schooling to be more modern day and to teach kids way faster would benefit way more because there wouldn't be any college debt, which yes, it would ruin the whole college system, which again, the government loves. And honestly, it would be way better for the society anyways. If everybody was so much smarter and already educated by the time they stepped out of high school and they get in the working field, they could be making way more money. They could be providing for themselves and their family and they'd be so much happier. And I think this could actually benefit the economy more because as they're making money, the government taxes them, right? Because those four, first four years, you're in college, you're just paying that to the colleges. You're not making any money. So government can't take your income tax. And then over those four years, you're going to grow, grow, grow as you reinvest into yourself and even perfect your skills even more. And as someone that's probably going to be making more money, you're going to be spending more money into the economy. And if you don't know, the flow of money is the best indicator of how our economy is doing. So the more our, the money flows from person to person, from business to business, the better our economy is. If everybody just held on to their money, then nothing would be moving. The government wouldn't be getting paid taxes and nobody would be making money, right? So we need this transfer of money constantly. And the only way to do that quicker is if you've got people working in the field, making way more money that are going to hit this exponential 
exponential return on their investments and on their own skills and abilities before you know that four year period where people go through college and get drunk and party and waste their life. And sure, maybe they're learning a little bit, but by the end of it, they literally could have learned that within one year of actually being in the field. So yes, I absolutely hate the college system and the schooling system because it is set up for you to pretty much almost fail, even though they say it's success. If you don't fit the right criteria and if you aren't going to follow the system and get pushed into probably doing things you don't want to do, or maybe you're that lucky person that actually enjoys what they're pushing into, the system is just totally messed up, right? And education has not caught up to modern day society. I can tell you, there's so many people, if you are going to business school in college, if you have business classes, and if you think that is actually going to teach you something before you get out, you are completely wrong. I spent thousands of dollars on mentorships and coaching, and that's taught me more within six months than I bet you will learn in four years. You can learn about the economy. You can learn about money. You can learn about investing. You can learn about business by actually being in the business for one and learning the marketing, learning the sales. But by also, you can do this all on social media. You can literally learn from so many people on the internet now that you don't need to go to college for and pay thousands of dollars and waste your time. And when you can stay at home, learn the skill on the computer and then go attack it and practice it. And with repetition, you'll be the better person than the person going to college, right? So a degree doesn't get you anywhere. And if you spent four years focusing on stuff that you actually would want to better in yourself to get the job that you want, I think you're going to be so much better, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you want to work a nine to five. And if you're that person that needs to go to college because they require it, which I think is absolutely insane, that people still require you to have a piece of paper degree saying that you pass this class, this class, and this class so that you can go work in the field is absolutely ridiculous. Because if you just spent that four years working at that company, working in the field, you would have learned way more because it's completely different than going to school. School and work and actually providing to society is completely different. Now, if you're someone who is a business owner or entrepreneur just getting started that's also maybe interested in real estate, you can just comment down below and also follow me on Instagram right here. If you DM me, I will get you connected with some of the best coaches that I've learned from that helped me make $70,000 in my first year in real estate at 17 years old. So yes, you can do this too at any age and I totally believe in you. And if you want to learn from me alongside me, I'm actually looking for any interns. So if you want to get a paid internship, yes, paid. A lot of people offer them free. I'm going to offer this one paid commission and I'll teach you everything I know and put you around the right people. So DM me coach or intern and I will get you set up. Thank you guys for watching and let me know your guys thoughts on college as well. Do you think I'm completely wrong? I want to hear it. If you think I'm completely right, I want to hear that also. And I want to know your experiences if you went through college and you absolutely hated it and it did not work for you. I also want to hear if it did work. So just let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe.